Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today in this episode we are going to get started on learning uh, about the player join event and sort of the, some of the things you can do on that. So we're going to be working on a first join. So something that happens when the player first joins the server. You know, usually uh, on some servers you might have like a firework or maybe the sound of thunder. Uh, in our case, we're going to do something pretty simple and we are just going to uh, just send a message uh, when it's a player's first join. So first things first, as always, we need to go ahead and let's get into all of our stuff here. A lot of clicks. Uh, let's make our events class. So we'll just say my events. And this is going to implement listener. And then inside of here, we're just gonna go ahead and say public void on join player, join event, event. And then let's just go ahead and get the player. So we'll say player, player equals event dot get player. Awesome, pretty easy. Uh, pretty standard stuff so far uh, and that's pretty much all we're going to need to do uh, we're gonna actually go ahead and get a boolean and we'll say uh, has joined and we're gonna go ahead and set that equal to player oh, sorry event dot and we're gonna go ahead and oh I have my insert on we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and say player dot has played before and we're going to get that boolean so let's go ahead and say if player or er, if has joined and we're going to say if not so if exclamation point has joined we're going to go ahead and say event dot set join message and we'll say check color dot purple light purple and we'll say player dot get name. And then let's just go ahead and say chat color dot uh, yellow. Let's join for the first time. Cool. And that's all we need to do. Now, um, you can do this in a much more complex way by adding it to say a config or something like that. Um, but it's not necessarily super needed to add it to a config uh, just because uh, you can just do this has played before now keep in mind if you're doing multiple world and you have the same plugin um, or not sorry multiple worlds multiple servers and or maybe even multiple worlds I don't quite know the specifics of that one um, but anyways multiple servers at least but say it's multiple servers connected to one server if you're doing has played before and the player joins that server or that particular you know subset or sub server for the first time it's going to recognize that it's not that it is their first time joining that so it is going to run the same message anytime they join a different server but it's still connected to your main server through bungee cord unless you make this a bungee cord plugin then it'll check through all that but that's much more complex and we don't need to worry about that and we'll say else player dot send message check color oops check color dot Blue, welcome back. Okay, so our server has restarted, so let's join. Then we can see here, Malik DB has joined for the first time. Now, I don't know why on this I did a send player message. You can just go ahead and do the uh, event.set message. Um, and if you don't want anything to happen at all whenever a player joins, if you want to get rid of join messages entirely, uh, you can simply just Go ahead and set the join message to just empty quotations and it's just going to send nothing uh when when it happens or when a player joins so that's all i got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed the video although i missed a few simple things uh be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching